Parents in Camden are not giving out, up without a fight. Tonight they are mobilizing after learning the school district is closing more of its public schools over money. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis, who's live in Camden tonight. Kim? Jessica, two schools in an annex that tends to preschoolers will all be closing at the end of the school year. As you can imagine, both parents and school employees are feeling uncertain about the future. It shouldn't be a budget issue. I think it's a mismanagement of money. You got the wrong people messing with the money. When the funding isn't there, cuts need to be made. But in this case, it's leaving nearly 900 students forced to find new schools and up to 300 Camden City School District employees facing layoffs. Our students are going to uh, miss out. Um, our staff thinks it's, it's, it's a terrible idea. The president of the Camden Education Association tells us Veterans Memorial Family School will be completely closed and Roletta T. Cream Elementary School will be reassigning into a early childhood facility, all due to funding. The district said that there was a $27 million budget because for the last three years the district received supplemental aid from the state. But that funding has stopped. School employees aren't the only ones feeling uncertain about their future. Parents are also concerned. The city of Camden is closing all our public schools just to bring in the uh, schools from outside, outsiders, to direct our kids and teach our kids, you know, and they think that we don't have a voice. You got to worry about the new school lunch, how everything, the programs are going to be changed, the new staff members, like, it's just, it's just going to be difficult on all the parents and the kids. But school employees and parents aren't giving up without a fight. We should have a voice in this. Those are our kids. That's my kids' education. I don't want them in charter school. Now we reached out to the school district. They released a statement saying that they have no comment, but they plan to release a full statement by the end of the week. And school employees tell us they plan to walk to Trenton to speak with the commissioner of the State Board of Education starting on Monday to fight for their students. For now, we are live in Camden, New Jersey. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kim, thank you.